hi thank you very much for clicking on to this video so i'm going to be pulling some general messages of course but i'm using the energy oracle cards this is kind of like a little mini energy read so take it whatever resonates the most important message will show up for the people who need to hear it so i'm gonna get a card out what's the current energy for the collective please what's the current energy for the collective Okay, so the current energy is a man holding a coin, right? So um, masculine earth sign energy could be significant, like Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It's, um, I feel like this man holding a coin is somebody with status. So whoever this is, they don't have to be an earth sign, but it looks like a person with status, right? And we got this angel of love coming out. So for some people, there could be, because I had started to read, right? But for some reason, my mouth was not working properly. I don't know what was going on, but... um door to romance was showing up as the current energy so for some people there's a new romantic um there could be a new romantic offer that comes in from a person with status so that's what it's looking like it's like you are attracting a high vibrational type of love too especially if you have been healing um you know breaking these cycles these patterns okay so that's what it's looking like let me see what else comes out tell me about this man holding a coin for the collective please but I do feel like it's, um, the way it's showing up here too, it's like the angel of love. It's kind of giving like Cupid. And you know what? That um, 112 song, y'all, it had randomly popped up on my, um, it randomly popped up on my YouTube thing. Cause sometimes I'll be listening to like old music, not like old, old music, but like 90s, 2000s. That's what I'd be listening to. But that song had popped up Cupid by 112. Y'all could be wanting to listen to that. But that's what it's giving. It's like the angel of love um, could be like basically um, blessing you with a man holding a coin. If you are a woman watching this, whatever your preference is, but you could be this man holding a coin too watching this. And it does look like the angel of love is like blessing you with, um, you know, a new um, relationship, a new, I was about to say a new flame, but not, <laughs> I mean, if you into that or whatever but we got the sun card they want us to pop out so it's new beginnings that's here it's a lot of positive energy too because even though um it looks like this person has status with this man holding a coin they could be somebody who's like very down to earth but it looks like it's good energy good vibes with the sun card showing up so that's what's coming out um something about like a pool party could be significant too or like um chilling at chilling by the pool this person could have a pool at their house or somebody like to go swimming or something something about being in water could be significant tell me more about this man holding a coin for the collective please so look financial constraints is showing up here and we got indecision coming out too there could be some type of indecision surrounding finances at, now this could have been at one point but we got a strategy showing up too. So I'm seeing something in regards to like a business plan. Someone has a business plan. It could be you or somebody else that's in your energy. But financial constraints are a factor in regards to the strategy. So for some people, if you are wanting to um, start a business, there could be somebody in your energy that um, is willing to invest in you. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it's like the plan is perfect, but it's like the financial part is looking a little, you know, um, it's not the financial part of this plan. Um, it's like you could you could be trying to figure out it's like how I'm gonna get this money for this plan. That's what it looks like. So you could be starting something new in regards to a business for some people. Let me see what else comes out. Tell me more about this man holding a coin for the collective. What else are you see here? Look, um, blossoming abundance. Y'all, if I say something crazy, just don't mind me. I don't know what's going on in my mouth. Maybe I need to meditate or something. I don't know. But blossoming abundance is showing up here. Um, This is card number three. You could be seeing threes, like three, three, three. But it looks like abundance is blossoming in your life. In a certain, it's, the way it's coming out, Um, I feel like this is more so a windfall of abundance too. 
but something in regards to starting a business is very significant yeah for a lot of people you've been healing you've been overcoming a lot of like disappointment and heartbreak let me see what else comes out what else does the collector need to hear what else are they needing to hear but we got first chakra showing up archangel michael coming out the divine masculine showing up super heavy though in this reading we got yin yang two two so it's like the divine feminine divine masculine you could be seeing a yin and yang symbol or like a lot of twos like two 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 but it looks like um with first chakra archangel michael i feel like this is more so in regards to like the stability because for some people, if you are, like, if you don't feel like you're financially stable, I guess you could say, it does show where it's like divine protection is coming in surrounding Mike, um, Archangel Michael. But this is the root chakra, the base chakra. So usually if you are experiencing like fear surrounding money, that means your root chakra could be a little off balance. But it looks like it's about to balance out. And this actually equals up to number eight too. But the way um, Archangel Michael been showing up lately, y'all, it's like Archangel Michael is like guarding the abundance. So it's like knowing that abundance is your birthright, right? But the way it comes in, it's like we may not know the full details on how it comes in, but your abundance is definitely divinely protected. That's what it's looking like. So yeah, it's like nobody is touching this abundance because the way it's showing up, it looked like some type of um, almost like a hidden place. So it's like your abundance is in a hidden place. You may not be able to see it right in front of you, but you can see signs and synchronicities. It's like once you start realizing that it's like, hey, abundance is around me, even though it's not showing up in my bank account, that's okay. But try to stay positive about it. I know that's kind of hard, right? I'll be thinking about that type of stuff, but yeah. <laughs> like try to try to stay positive about it. It's like start noticing or start pointing out the abundance that's around you. What else does the collective need to hear? It's like abundance could be popping up like randomly. It's almost like something popping up. You know how mushrooms be popping up like in random places? It's giving that type of energy, but it looks like someone like the abundance is in a hidden place. Give me some more insight. What else are they needing to hear? So community is coming out and we got third chakra. This is Archangel Chamiel. For some people, you could be clearing out, trust your gut, trust the vibes that you could be receiving about. Now it could be a community or the people that you have in your energy. Cause I feel like the vibe, even though it don't look like the vibe is off, but I feel like a gut feeling could be telling you it's time to like clear out the community. It's almost like people could be getting cut out of a community or something. It's like if you got a YouTube, you could be blocking certain people, but it's kind of hard to, um, it's kind of hard to filter out certain things on YouTube, but your social media accounts could be significant too, where you can actually delete people from off your social media. That's our unfollow people. That's what it seems like. So for some people, trust your gut in regards to like, you know, who it is that you could be following, especially, um, Cause I be doing this a lot too. Like if I feel like I'm not being inspired by somebody or whatever, I'll unfollow them or, you know, delete them off my page, especially if they not engaging and stuff, then you got to go. <laughs> like, <laughs> Cause it's just like stagnant type of energy. The whole time it's like, they probably do be seeing your stuff, but I don't like that. I will, I will delete you or, you know, not delete, delete, but I will just like remove you from my social media platform. But some of y'all could be doing that too. It's like you could be in this energy to where it's like you only want to follow or listen to people who are inspiring you, are motivating you, which is not the case for everybody, but you know. What else are they need to hear? There could be some hostilities too. It's almost like drama. There could be some type of drama within um, a social group or setting, or not setting, but the people that you could have within your community or your tribe. I'm gonna just say tribe. Yeah, for some people, you could be thinking that certain people are a part of your soul tribe, but it's like, nah, cause the vibe is off. Like it don't feel like you supposed to be here. So yeah, 
that's what's showing up here and this could be kind of disappointing too with broken heart because sometimes it's like you can be friends you can be uh friends for somebody for a long time but it's like y'all may take different paths it's like maybe you know some things unchanged and it's like hey i'm gonna go my way and i'm gonna go you know you can go your way or whatever what else are they needing to hear right now what else does the collector needs to hear so this card all tied up came out some things going to be changing now for some people you could be kind of all tied up within your thoughts but it looks like there's going to be change surrounding if you do feel this way it's given like eight of swords type of energy you could be kind of overthinking some things too about a situation What else does the collector need to hear right now? What else are they needing to hear? Thank you. So look, we got healer of the ages showing up. For some people, there could be some envy surrounding you healing. Yeah, for sure. Cause it's like, like let's just say that, um, I'm trying to come up with an example. But it's almost like the people that you had in your energy when you was like down bad, it's like, you know, you could have been heartbroken or whatever. The people that you had around you, you could have just kind of like, you know, drifted off or disconnected from them, right? But it's like this healed version of you, it's something different and people can pick up on it. It's like your whole vibe, you're like your energy is different. Like seriously, they can feel it. It's like if you walk into a room or if you run into them, they're going to be like something different about so-and-so. And it's because you've been healing. That's what it looked like. Yeah. Let me see what else. Look, walking away. You could be receiving downloads. But it's like you you know that it's time to walk away. But I feel like your crown chakra could be super active too. Um, but yeah, something about you done change, y'all. It's like you could have been starting reading more books, um, just like gaining new knowledge or whatever the case is. It's like you showing up as like, um, the way it's coming out here though, cause I'm thinking about um, this quote. This is like one of my favorite quotes. And I actually have a picture of this, but um, basically it talks about becoming like the best version of yourself or like um start showing up as your higher self so for some people it's like this old version well people may know um they may be more familiar in low-key it's like they could be still kind of connected to the old version of you but it's almost like it could be disappointing when they get into your energy they start interacting with you and they realize that it's like hey this is not the same person it's almost like they liked you better when you was like down bad or like, you know, heartbroken. It's like you could have been sad all the time too. It's like they they love that depressed version of you, which is crazy. But it's like they, can, they may not be able to handle this healed version of you, but it looked like you showing up as um, a higher version of yourself. That's where the envy is surrounding by. But it looks like you could be walking away from certain things. It's almost like the people that don't want to grow within your, um, I'm going to say tribe or yeah tribe or like a community your social um group or whatever the people that you communicate with hang out with or whatever but you could be walking away from those people because they are not of your highest good they may not be working on their self it's like maybe they all about conflict drama or whatever but it's like no you it's like you um you have like this um this urge to become a better version of yourself so pay attention to them type of signs give me another card what else are they needing to hear what else does the collector need to hear so woman holding a coin coming out so you got your coin, your bag, okay? That's what it look like. But something in regards to business, y'all, is very significant. Like, if you are a woman watching this, you could be a uh, feminine earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But it looks like a successful business woman to where she, um, she may have, like, investors. Somebody could have invested in her. But it's like you have all the in like you have all the knowledge that you need. It's just the financial part of it that's missing. So. 
that's what it's looking like for some people you could be wanting to start something new and it's going to be very successful because it's giving like girl ball survives y'all that's what it looked like yep it's giving like entrepreneur that's what it looks like so yeah and it's like even your resources could be very slim but you could be the type of person to where you just work with what you got and just like you know trust in divine timing trust that um that spirit is going to bring in some type of other resource for you but yeah um i'm going to end the read here you guys but thank you very much for watching